So how did this whole atmosphere tour connection pop off? You know, Revenue mm -hmm. came out with this new album, had a tour, doing the Welcome to Minnesota tour with them now. So I've been hanging with them for a while. So. It's, it's crazy, because everything was happening around the same time. I was trying, I was finishing the record as I was practicing um, the record with my band to perform it at the release party that I didn't even have a record for yet. Did, did, did that make sense? Yeah. Did you catch that? <laughs> so basically, I'm in, band practice for a record that I'm making that's not even out yet because I knew how I wanted the record I knew how the record was turning out so I was working on getting the band on the right page so that when I dropped the record it would be ready to perform with the band and um where I was perform where I was uh, practicing at is the same place that um, slug was practicing at you know, Atmosphere, you know, they did all their practices in this practice space. And um, big shout out to Will Simon, man. He, he's the guy who basically, basically put it together. Um, I met him somewhere. I can't even remember where the hell I met him. But he was like, I want to do lights. No, 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 wait a minute. I wanted to have a light show for my show. And the guy who I asked to do it couldn't do it. So he referred me to Will. I went to Will's place and he was like, Yo, Atmosphere actually practices, practices here too. So then every time I went there, I would bump, bump elbows with Slug and Ant. So um, it was just like, I walked in one day and Ant was there and um, me and Slug were talking and then Slug had a shirt on that had Easy e on it. And I was like, is that Easy e on your shirt? And he goes, yeah. And then Ant goes, that's you. And me and him started laughing and the Slug is like, what? It was an inside joke that only me and Ant in that room knew about. And what he was referring to was a show I had done like three years ago where I did a tribute to Easy e and Ant was there. And he saw me do it and he came up to me and he was like, that was the illest show I've been to in five years. You know, so he was like, the way you're making the beats and the, you know, the way you just put it together was really ill. So while Slug is like, what, the t what is this Easy e thing? He turns around and he starts talking to Slug about how he saw me perform the Easy E thing like I wasn't even there. He was just like, yo, man, I saw him and he went up on stage and, you know, Carnage was doing this or whatever. And it was like the illest shit I've seen. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, this is cool. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like champion for me. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think Slug's wheels started turning right there. So um, a couple other times I went in. Slug was leaving when I was coming in. And then um, Will was like, why don't you holler at Slug, man? Tell, tell him that you want him to come to your show, that you want him to see what you're doing. And I was like, okay, why the hell not? So I you know, called Slug up and I was like, yo, I want you to come to my show and I also am gonna ask for some advice someday. You know, like I, I wanna know what it is that you know, I can do to make myself a little more successful if I'm not covering all the bases. And he was like, yeah, I'll be available for, for you to do that or whatever. And then I was kind of like, and you know, if you ever want to take me on one of them Welcome to Minnesota tours, I'd, I'd love to go. And he was like, ha, ha, and I was like, ha, ha, you know, talk to you later. So then a couple weeks later, Slug hit me up and was like, yo, I want you to come and remake one of my songs off of my first record, that a song that we never performed because we lost the beat to it. And I was like, cool. And then at the same time, he was like, and I also want you to go on our fall tour. And I was like, oh, oh, oh yes. So it was bigger than just the Minnesota thing. He was like, we're going on tour for three weeks and you can come. And I'm just like, holy shit. So all, it, like in that period of time, everything just, it just clicked. I had the new video for Respect the Name. That was out. You know what I'm saying? You had come up. Yeah, he was in it. I asked him to do it based on that. You were working on the art. The art was looking good. It started giving me more of a, of, of a, a mood to write the last few songs about. And then, you know, the City Pages was on to me. Slug was on to me. I was getting my band together. The album was be beginning to, you know, come into process. And I was going on tour. And everything just from there has been, like, it went here. And it's now 
coasting on the on the upper on the upper tier tier. You know, right now fr from there. So from like May up until now, it's it's been up here and, it, and it's and it's still going that way. And, and and if I keep playing my cards right and not do anything stupid, I think it'll it'll continue to go that way. So that's kind of how the whole me and Slut thing happened. And we've been cool ever since. So is there any other future plans with anything around Sayers or? Um, we come say if there was. I, if there's something happening, they're brewing it up, and I don't know about it yet. I mean, hopefully Slug will ask me to go on tour again. That would be nice. Um, we'll just start there. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> we'll start there. So I know you dabble in some other areas kind of on the fringe of hip-hop. You know, what else are you doing besides the rap scene? Um, I do this group called Salty, which is uh, me, a cellist, and a guitar player. Um, that's Bill, Mike, Jacqueline, Alton, and myself, and I beatbox, and it's all instrumental. There's no no vocals, um, and we can basically perform for like two, two, three hours. Just do like covers with our own twist, or we have a whole bunch of songs we wrote. You know, the music we we put together ourselves and just kind kind of made concept songs, and then we improvise around the concept of the songs that we made. Um, so it's it's pretty cool. A lot of people are like, "Yo, this is my favorite shit you're doing." Like some some hip hop heads are like, that's the best shit you're doing, you know. Um, I think Idea saw it once and he was like, that shit is that's genius, you know. So, you know, I'm, I'm getting the blessings from everybody on that too. Um, but since everybody's in their own, you know, solo world too, we don't do as much together. But it's still a group, um, and it, we're gonna probably we're a live group. So I think um, if we do another album, I would like to do another live album that's like invite only. You know, have have like a few core people, like 15, 20 people come in and we just record a record with those people in the room and just, you know, kill it and then put it out. Um, and that's Salty, S-A-L-T-E-E. -E. Look for us out there. And you're teaching too? I teach. I teach beatbox classes. Um, and I'm the only one I know who's doing it. So I'm going to just leave it there because I don't want anybody else to steal my shit. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> So what's the craziest thing that's happened to you on tour so far? Whether this tour or any other tour? A crazy fucked up story for us? I don't have any fucked up stories. My stories are all good. You know, um, I mean, the cr the craziest thing, and it's not a bad thing, is the, the acceptance, you know, for what I'm doing. I think um, it's working really well for a large percentage of Atmosphere's crowd. They're really liking it and I'm not gonna say that every single show I felt like I was like yeah the, on top of the world but most of the shows I felt like when I was performing I was that dude for those people you know um yeah it, it, it's it's just the the overwhelming acceptance for what I'm doing is really and Slug told me he was like you're connecting really well with my crowd you know I'd like to do some more work with you that's what he told me in September and now I'm on my second tour with him so something is going right. So that's that's the crazy story is that, you know, I'm the I'm the guy that not a lot of people know and I come and open up the show and I tear that shit down. And and I and I do it crazily to the point where people are like, yo, that's the illest shit I ever seen. I never seen nothing like that. I need everything you got on the table. Who are you? Why have I never heard of you? Why ain't you famous? Why ain't you Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> we'll, we'll just end it there. Yeah. Like a whole lot of shit. Like people are saying really great things, you know, about what I'm doing. And and that's crazy. That's crazy. It's, it's beautiful because I never thought I would be here. I didn't think I was going to be in this spot, you know, 10 years ago. So, so anything else you want to tell us just uh, about what's coming up next or... I am I am not currently recording for my new record yet, but I have concepts and I have I have about four songs that if they made it, if they made the cut, I'm already four deep into my next record. Who knows? I'm I'm a little more picky about the songs I, I put on a record now because I know that you know everything you make just because you make it doesn't necessarily mean it goes on a record. So I'm gonna be really, really picky about this next record. But I have some some nice concepts that I'm coming up with for the next record. I have um a few collaborations that I think are gonna make people go, holy shit. You know, I'm, I'm building some relationships with some new people who I haven't done very much stuff with in the past. Um, that's gonna lead to a, a really good record if things work out the way I'm hoping they do in my head. Um, so there's that record, uh, we'll see what happens. 
Um, me and Desdemona's record is out, um, Ill Chemistry self-titled. Um, we've been talking about putting another record together and there's been some talk about who we're gonna collaborate with for that. Um, I'm gonna just put it out there and say I'm feeling Big Jess right now. Big Jess from Unknown Prophets. Um, me and him had a really good connection with a song I did for his uh, his mixtape, uh, his honorable mention mixtape, and there's been some talk about Ill Chemistry hooking up with him to put together a, a, a Ill Chemistry record that features him um, on some production, him and I on the beats, switching around the duties. Maybe I make a beat, he put music to it, we flip it, you know, he make a beat, I put music to it, I give him some of my sounds, he chops them up, make a beat out of them, we'll see what happens. Um, Salty, we're talking about recording another record. We don't know exactly when we're going to do that, but it's probably going to happen the way I described, you know, a little while ago. Um, I can't think of anything else I have right now. I'm just um, trying to push the record I have now. That's the most important thing. It still has a lot of life left in it. Um, but I think about October, in October 2013, this year, I'll probably go back into the lab and start working on the new record. And um, my goal is to have it out, hopefully, no later than next summer. So we'll see what happens with that. New website just went up, carnagetheexecutioner.com. So check that out. I think it's on this dope ass banner right here. Man, that's good. Um, follow me on Twitter at carnage triple XL, XXXL, like this. Um, and from those areas, you can pretty much find me anywhere else. Come check your boy out. Thanks for your time, man. Thank you, sir. Look forward to seeing you steal the show tonight. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> um, Thanks. Shout out to this man right here for all, any art you see right now, my, from my album to my stickers, my flyers, the banners, all of that shit. He did it. So, you know, look for um, Space Monkey. Space Monkey, right? Is that Or is it the Indie Raps? IndieRaps.com. Yeah, so shout yourself out, shit. Because you're part of no. this. You, you, you got this it? This is you, man. Okay. Well, this is me, but he's part of me. He's making me look good. So, check him out. Check Space Monkey and Indie Raps out. Thank you.